Hi guys, just playing around with a few bits and pieces here. I popped into Maplin today and bought a couple more supercapacitors. These are 2.7 volts, 5 farads. This is the remains of a nanocopter that I took the receiver out of. So it's still got the motor there that drives the big rotors and the little motor in the back which looks like it's about five millimeters across I guess that does the steering. So I just thought out of interest if I take that and I've got my power up power supply which is simply some AA batteries that are connected directly to these metal plates. I've just checked with my meter which way round it is. This side is positive, that side is negative. So if I hold my supercapacitor the black side is negative so the other side's positive. So if I just hold that on there for a little while I don't know, let's count to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that will have put some charge into there. So if we get hold of this, I just want to make the little one work, because I have an idea. So if I just connect the wires directly on. So that seems to last for a reasonable amount of time. I just thought I'd see if I can make a very small polystyrene or styrofoam plane out of the usual um, styrofoam plates and use this. It appears to work best as a pusher. So I'll use it as a pusher and see if I can make the plane fly. So it'll be the weight of that that little motor with however I choose to mount it and some sort of a plane. Probably a delta would be the easiest thing to make. I'll think about that. A delta. So we'll go and see if that flies. It's beginning to get dark outside so we may see nothing at all. Like I say, getting dark
<laughs> I think it's too dark now, isn't it? 